my crafty friends, it's Sharon Lusky here from My Crafty Greetings. We're going to do a Scrappy Tales video and we'll use some stuff from the Butterfly Kisses uh, card kit for this month. So cool with that butterfly, the hello, stencil, paper, uh, and this massive stamp set. So I painted up a pile of butterflies and uh, ended up with three hours of video making cards and painting butterflies. So I'm trying to edit that down, but I thought at least I'd give you a tidbit here and this gorgeous paper pad. And I'm gonna do a hack video too of how to use five by seven, how to use six by six paper on five by seven cards. There you go. So yeah, this is some tasty, tasty paper and makes some easy cards and is beautiful to combine. And uh, yeah, I love it, especially the bright colors. Okay, so this is the two pieces that I'm gonna use today. There is a few card kits left, as Sabrina said, and these are also included in the card kit. These are the butterflies painted up. That is just Nina Solar White 80 pound, and it's just some cheap watercolor paints. Anyways, got my five by seven card base here, and I'm gonna add on these two pieces. I didn't really measure them out, but um, I'm putting a decent amount of tape runner down. I don't know why I got tape jungle tape runner, and it is not as sticky as the scotch stuff. I did, does anybody else find that or is it just me? So I'm putting a little extra ATG just where these are gonna overlap. Nobody will know they're overlapping and uh, that saved me having to do some precise cutting. And then I have my bits and bobs here. This is the Intricate Hello Friends Heart die set. It's a spinner die that you can use but it's a very cool die to begin with, so pretty. And then I'd also mentioned about uh, the birdcage die and how it could be used for so much more than just a bird cage. Look at this thing. It is gorgeous as a bird cage, but seriously, there's so much deliciousness like this top little part here and then the other end with those curly cues. And I just wanted to show you that if you are willing to cut up paper pieces, and I didn't use a whole hunk of uh, holographic paper here, I just put enough on the end, uh, twice for the top curl and twice for the bottom uh, detail work there, and uh, cut them out, out of holographic paper, just the key, cheap kind from Michaels. <laughs> and I'm just splitting the bottom of the cage uh, detail in half here because it's not going to cover cleanly across um, the five inch width. And what I'm doing is I'm lining this up so that there's a tiny bit of reveal on this little tiny white piece of paper that I have. And um, then I'm adding some more ATG so I can layer it on the other side. And you can see you have to pull it back just a tiny bit from the end of the strip so that the curls don't hang off your card, unless you want the curls hanging off your card. You do what you want to do. <laughs> I'll do what I want to do. So I cut them in half to try and help me line them up. And I'm just making sure that I get the paper seam right in the middle of this. And uh, I'm doing a pretty good job and it ended up I didn't need to cut it anyways. Now this little ring here is perfectly sized for one of the sentiments from the stamp set. And it is from the Slimline Birdhouse pop-up. Of course, many of you may have that because of Jennifer McGuire giving it some love. It is very cool set to have. You should watch the Jennifer McGuire video, obviously, if you're going to buy it. I sure would love it if you'd use my affiliate links, but if you want to use her affiliate links, alas, she's Jennifer McGuire. I understand. So I'm just trimming these. <laughs> I understand. She's got to be rich from affiliate links, that girl. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just trying to make enough money to pay for glue and paper. Um, I cut these curls so that they'll just fit behind this ring and uh, I love this ring. It's perfectly sized and I find that it is the best size for a nice frame and sentiments and I just pop it out boppity boppity and we are all good. So I'm doing my little trick here with uh, the Tombow Mono Multi. Look, I've been using it long enough and I can call it by its right name. After teeny tiny fussy cutting of these antennae, I don't want them to break or catch. So I'm putting some uh, art glitter glue on them. That's a great way of fortifying any really tiny thin pieces of paper. So I've got my um, Happy Mother's Day stamp here from that gorgeous stamp set. Oh yes, this happened. Uh, ah. I'm just gonna use some Morning Mist uh, Versamark, Versa Fine, Versa Clear, Versa, 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 and stamp it in this little circle here that I've got, and then I'm going to stick it into my silver embossing powder. And keep these and put those in your embossing powders. It keeps them from getting like clumpy. 
Also, let your embossing powder sit on the ink for a little longer than you think. It'll actually cover better. So I'm just lining these up with the seam in my desktop here so that they're nice and straight. And I wanted the rings to just come across the bottoms of those little curls there, you see that? And then I'll line up this other uh, little sticky part so that it also is going completely parallel or completely straight with um, the other one, and now that I've got it all aligned, it's sticky. I'm going to add some more Tombow Mono Multi so I can put my little uh, sentiment in there with my sticky fingers. And uh, then I will turn this baby over and add some little, a little bit more Tombow Mono Multi. So the whole idea of doing this is when I put the little tiny bits of Tombow Mono Multi on here, once it dries, you can take it and just stick it. Give it a little push and that is on there. It is the easiest way to prevent glue from oozing out onto your project. And uh, I love it. I just think it's fabulous. So I've got this upside down here so I can approximate where everything needs to go. It's good to be able to eyeball things. And once I've got that sorted, I'm also going to use the, um, the pattern on the paper to make sure that the little arms here on this piece that I've made stick out to the side. Isn't that gorgeous? Like it totally makes, if you did a square or rectangular sentiment too, you could add those flourishes on the end. So pretty. So I'm just gonna bend up the wings of this little wee butterfly here. He's got his sticky on his body and the antennas are nice and dry and hardened up. And I'm just gonna add some homemade foam tape and we won't have to worry about those antennas breaking off or getting caught or ripped or anything like that because they're nice and durable. Seriously, take a little tiny skinny slip of paper, put some uh, glue on the back of it, let it dry, and you will see how strong paper gets with a coat of glue. Speaking of coats of glue, uh, that is some miscolored uh, gloss. What is that by Ranger? Glossy accents, there we go. And uh, these gorgeous little trays are from Jackie's Craft Table. <laughs> If you go on to her, um, onto her channel, she still probably has them for sale. So Silver Gems, a nice big baggie from Sabrina. And I'm going to use Art Glitter, or not Art Glitter Glue, uh, Glossy Accents. It is the best thing to stick on any of your little uh, tchotchkes. Anything that's plastic that has a shine that you want to stick, use uh, Glossy Accents. It will grab much better than anything else. Right glue for right job, that's important folks. It's a good thing to do. So we're just adding in some nice little uh, details here. I'm gonna put something in each one of the flowers and then I decide to do a little accent on the ribbon there. I think this makes a really pretty, really nice Happy Mother's Day card. Happy Mother's Day to the moms out there. And uh, also I wanted to wish a special happy birthday to my friend Kathy. It's her birthday today, Saturday. Mother's Day is tomorrow. And uh, thanks so much for joining me. And if you see anything that you like in this video, the affiliate links will be down below. Thank you so much for supporting me. Don't forget to subscribe. I've always got some craziness going on. And leave me a comment. Don't forget to thumbs up. Uh, and if you're hungry for a few more videos, here's a couple choices that you might like. Have an awesome day. Thanks. Bye.